Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to play Steam VR games using none other than an Android phone and a VR headset. So here is what you will need. You will need a Android phone, relatively new or high-end one will be uh, preferred, and it should be running Android 5.0 or higher for the best results. So I'm going to be using my Nexus 6 here from 2014, and I also have uh, my laptop here, and I'm going to be using this just cheap little VR headset for a phone. So the f first thing you want to do is go to your phone and open up the Play Store. Then from there, search for V-Ridge, and click Install. It shouldn't take too long, and then you can click open. Alright, so here there's a health and safety warning, just click I understand. It needs storage permission, so click OK, and click allow. And there we go, you should see a screen like this. Alright, so we can set that aside for now, and then go to the first link that I have in the description, and it will take you to the RiftCat website as you see right here. So, uh, click, scroll down a little bit and click download. And then you'll see a file called RiftCat installer pop up and just save that wherever you want. Um, for me, I already have it saved to my desktop, so I'm not gonna click save. And I'll click cancel, but for you, just save it to a spot where you can access it. All right, so here on my desktop, here is RiftCat installer. Double click that and open it. Click accept, click accept again, click install, yes, and let it run through its little thing here. Alright, so as you can see, now it says RiftCat is ready, so click start using RiftCat. Then this should pop up, you, you will need to sign in to your RiftCat account. If you haven't made an account, click register at the bottom right, it'll take you to a web page, you can register. It's not too easy, they don't ask for too much information, so it's pretty simple. Once you've made your account, go back to here and sign in. Alright, so now you will see two options here. This is asking you how you want to connect to the app on your phone, to the VRidge app. So there's two ways to do this. There is wireless and wired. A wired connection straight to your computer, from your phone straight to your computer, um, you know, via USB cable is the easiest way to do this. Uh, it's also the most reliable way. So, I will show you how to do that one first. Alright, so go back to the VRidge app on your phone, pull out this little menu, and click USB tethering. This should take you to the spot in your phone settings where you could turn on or off USB tethering. So, make sure, first of all, once you're here, make sure to plug your phone into your computer. And once that's all set up and ready to go, click USB tethering, make sure it says tethered. And while you're at it, make sure to turn off uh, your data and Wi-Fi on your phone. So just turn on airplane mode. And then go back to the VBridge app. All right, so back on your computer, you should see another option pop up in this list that says Ethernet, or Ethernet 2 in my case. So click that, and it'll ask you if this is your phone. Uh, Nexus 6, yes it is, so click yes. And there we are, we are connected to RiftCat. So from here, you have three options. Steam VR, which is the most impressive of them, I'd say. Oculus Rift Games, and RiftCat Games. So. Steam VR, if you open Steam VR here, it will really just launch Steam VR like normal. You should see a little window that says V Ridge Runtime is hosting Steam VR. And you should see the little Steam VR window here. And now the fans are kicking up on my computer. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but yeah, things are heating up now, so I'm gonna shut it down and show you how to connect wirelessly. Alright, so if you want to do this wirelessly. I recommend a 5GHz Wi-Fi network 
and making sure you have a good Wi-Fi connection on your phone and your computer, a good, strong connection. Otherwise, things might not work right, the video might not be smooth, things might cut out, it won't be, won't be pretty. So, make sure you have a good connection once that is set up. And then, disconnect here, and it'll ask if this is your phone again, just unplug your phone from your computer, by the way. Uh, since we're doing it wirelessly, so I'll go ahead and take out the cord there. And make sure to actually restart the VMage app, that might help too. I uh, click no for now. And okay, so open up the VMage app again. And then click, you should find this little gear, the gear with the little arrows. Click that and change the connection to Wi Fi. Actually, once you've done that, um, Make sure to turn airplane mode off, by the way. And then reload the VRidge app again. <laughs> okay, is this your phone? Yes. All right, now we are connected wirelessly. Hopefully you can see that here, no wires, perfectly wirelessly. And it started raining outside. Okay, so, and same process again. You can click SteamVR, play SteamVR games. And I'm actually going to demonstrate that now, just to show you kind of roughly how it works. So open up Steam VR. While that's loading up, get your headset, open it up, get your phone. Got mine here. Things things are loading up. Okay, you can actually see I'm in the Steam. I'm in the Steam VR home thing. Now, granted, I am recording, so things might be a little, uh, you know, laggy, but we'll see. And please try to ignore the fans on my computer. So, in here it's working like normal. Steam VR Home. Okay. So, from here, just go to Steam. I have it over here. Just load up Steam like normal. Alright, so once you have this up, I'm just going to show you. Uh, actually, I can show you what to do in Steam VR when setting up stuff for the first time. So, click Run Room Setup, actually. That can help. It's not always necessary to do this, especially if you don't even if you're not even using a, a real VR headset, but it can help. So this will load up, click standing only. Uh, click next. That's not necessary. Okay, now so hold the VR headset forward, or your phone in this case, click calibrate center. Let it do its thing and click next. Calibrate floor. Uh, okay, so just set that on your desk and click Calibrate Floor. And click Next. And click Done. Okay, that's it for that. Completely it for that. Alright, so now, only VR game I have, VR Chat. I'm going to load it up here real quick. Prepare for a lot of fan noise, by the way. But I just want to try to show you that it is working. So, I'll show you that by taking my phone out of the VR headset. I'm just showing you that it will actually load up like normal. So, here we go. VR chat. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little laggy again, but don't fret. That is just because of my recording software. So, on my phone and my computer. So, that doesn't help either. Alright, so VR chat. You can see that it is loading up. It's responding very well. Now my internet isn't that good, so that's why things might cut out a little bit. Again, you should be using a wired connection. Um, I'm using wireless, so things are a little laggier than they should be right now. But that, just because of my internet. And the stream recording software, that doesn't, yeah, all that together is not pretty for VR. Alright, so I'm in VR chat. Um, looking around, though. I might be able to see on my computer, too, back there. Looks like this game is... a bit glitched out. Um, oh! I'm just really low to the ground. Yeah, so that is... Um, to fix this, what you need to do... This is a common issue. Let's see, so fix this. Um, exit out of VR chat. So that's exited. And go to SteamVR, run room setup again. Uh, 
and I'll show you what to do. Because it'll... Okay, so click standing only, then establish tracking next. Calibrate center, hold it, do that again. Now here's the critical step, height. So centimeters or inches, I mean the inches, because by America. But all right, so you want to set it to how high it's going to be if you're standing. So if you're standing or or sitting, really, just how high your character is in the game, roughly. So let's see, I believe something like, or actually no, I used inches, centimeters before. Do something like 60 centimeters. That's probably not that high, actually. Let's just do 70, why not? And click calibrate. Oh yeah, set it up, calibrate floor. And that should fix the height issue. Now click done. I'm gonna open up VR chat again. Alright, so as you can see now, VR chat is loading up and it should load up any second here you can see on my computer actually that it is working so here we go it's loading there and then it loads up here it's going to do its thing again here we go all right so i should be in the main world here all right there we are as you can see, I can use my keyboard and mouse to move around pretty much as normal. You might need to keep my tablet again, goodness. You might need to keep doing that uh, height calibration, making your character a little taller. As you can see, mine's still lower than the ground, but you can keep changing it. Uh, it's just because you don't actually have real head tracking or anything with VR sensors, so you need to get that height uh, just right. So keep experimenting with that. Uh, pick like a normal human height. I don't know that off the top of my head in centimeters or inches, but I can easily I can easily measure it out and fix that. So just keep repeating that process to get it where you want it to be. And here's the other thing I want to mention. Riftcat is a trial program for free. It costs 15 US dollars to buy it um, in full. So you'll be limited to only 10 minutes at a time using it. Um, so, thank you for watching this video, and hope you found it useful. If you have any questions or issues, ask me in the comments below, and I will try my very best to answer and help you with that. Um, yeah, so, thank you so much. Thank you for 500 subscribers as well. That's insane. Actually, that's really kind of weird. It's a lot of people, actually. But, um, yeah, thank you. And I will see you in the next one.